This is the hook to my YouTube movie. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. I love switches, buttons, levers, and knobs. There's something intimate about having a mechanical interface with a piece of technology. It feels more connected. I hate digital interfaces. It's just not the same. I recently built this digital mechanical knob using an Altoids tin can and an Adafruit QTPY, which is a microcontroller that runs on the Raspberry Pi RP2040 using CircuitPython. And mounted to that is a digital encoder. I use this knob for controlling the playhead while editing videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I made a second one right here, and this one controls the volume. I want to use the Bamboo Lab to 3D print an enclosure to replace the Altoids tin can. I'm going to use Fusion 360 to draw up the digital encoder and the microcontroller, and then design an enclosure to go around all of that. I think once it's done, it's going to look pretty cool, so let's get to it. I started by going to adafruit.com and searched for the QTPY RP2040, where I was able to then download an STL. I imported the Adafruit QTPY into Fusion 360, and then I drew a digital encoder on top of it. This is how it will look in the wild. Now I'm going to draw an enclosure around it to 3D print on the Bamboo Lab A1. So here is the top knob as well as this white hex key that I put in for an inlay. Now that I have the AMS system, I can print multiple colors. So really excited to try that out. Here's the bottom of the enclosure and a port for the USB-C. I also made a little cap for the bottom and it says made in the USA. Now it's time to send it on over to the Bamboo Lab and 3D print it. That's pretty cool. So this is the first time I've ever printed two different colors in the same print, white and black. And also the first time I've ever printed knurling on a part. And the Bamboo Lab A1 did such a great job. Um, especially with the metal build plate and the way that just looks there on the bottom. It's so cool. Now I have this printing the bottom portion of this knob enclosure as well as a bottom cap to go on it. <laughs> this is awesome. Here's the top of the enclosure and the Bamboo Lab just finished printing the bottom and the cap. One, two. Look at that. Made in USA. That's the hole for the USB-C port. I love how this says made in the USA. This is a American made black filament from Atomic Filament and the QTPY is made right here in America. All right, everything is 3D designed and 3D printed. Now it's a matter of putting it together. Now I am nervous that the microcontroller will not fit into the bottom of the enclosure. It's gonna be some tight tolerances, so start right there. Gonna fit. I'm gonna take the Dremel and just file it down just a little bit. Of course, using safety glasses. When I make another one, I'm gonna make the bottom just a little bit bigger. Okay, washer and nut, 10 millimeter socket. Cool, check that out. So we have the encoder enclosed inside this plastic case with the USB-C port. Let's put on the knob. There it goes. Look at that. It spins and you can press it and it's knurled. Last tolerance test, time to put on the made in USA cap. Will it work? Like a glove. Look at that. That's so cool. The knob is done. I love it. Now I just need to hook it up to my computer and I'll be able to start editing videos with this knob or as I like to call it, the knob. Moment of truth. I have a USB-C hooked up to the knob. Plug it in here to the computer, check that out. And then if I press the button, look at that, it splices the video right there. 
That's awesome. I just updated the code and now I can control Spotify and Premiere Pro with the same button. So check this out. If I press it down, it'll play Spotify. I can control volume. If I press it again, it pauses. Then if I hold it down for two seconds and then go over to Premiere Pro, I can control the timeline. And then if I press it on the timeline, it splits the clip in half. That's super cool. I'm just so happy with how this knob turned out. It's like one of the cleanest 3D prints I've ever done. Between the dual extrusion on the top here, the knurling, and then the made in USA cap on the bottom. I love it. And that's the knob. I'll be linking the code below in the description. And if you want one for yourself, make sure to drop a comment. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. It's so cool.